Today we are diving into the world of matter, solids, liquids and gases with fun examples and cool facts. Are you ready? Let's go. What is matter? Matter is anything that takes up space and has weight. Um, think of it like this. If you can touch it, see it or um, feel it, it's matter. Uh, example, your toy. It's a matter. Air you breathe is also a matter. A glass of water and yourself. Uh-huh, yourself. You are also a matter. Matter comes in three forms. Solid, liquid and gas. Actually a fourth, uh, a fourth form also which is called plasma. But for this age it's not required. So we can say like this. Everything around us is made of matter. So what is a solid? A solid is something uh, that has its own shape, meaning it does not change unless you break it or squish it. Solids keep the same volume. It does not spread out or shrink on its own. Solids have tightly packed particles. The tiny pieces inside are so close together and don't move around much. Look at the pink bubbly kind of a picture on the right, right side top. That's how the solids look from inside. Examples uh, are seashell, ice cube, wooden block. And how about, how about you? Are you a solid? Yes, of course you're a solid too. What is a liquid? Liquids do not have their own shape. They take the shape of the container they are in. The volume of liquid do not change even if you pour them into different containers. How about the particles? The pink color bubbly thingy which you are seeing on the top right? Those are the particles. That's how it looks from inside. They are much spread out compared to the solids, right? So they can move around easily. Examples are uh, juice, water, paint. What else can you think about? Yeah, that's a good one. Gases don't have a shape of their own. They fill up whatever space they are in. For example, uh, the beach ball. The air inside a beach ball spreads out to fill the whole ball. Volume can change depending on the space. For example, uh, if you blow more air into the balloon, it gets bigger. If you take out the air from the balloon, it becomes smaller. So it changes. Particles. Look at the pink uh, bubbly kind of a picture on the top right. The gases are made of tiny bit called particles. These particles, they are spread out and they move really fast. So the examples uh, we can give. Beach ball, balloon and the air you breathe. Breathing out. Let's play. Is it solid, liquid? Or gas. What is this? A log of wood. So is it solid, liquid or gas? Yeah, it's solid. How about this? Yes, it's gas. How about this one? It's a glass of milk. Liquid. How about this one? A glass of juice. Liquid. Correct. How about this? It's a diamond. Ah, it's a solid. How about this? CO2 means carbon dioxide. It's a gas. Water is super cool because it can change from one form to another. Uh, for example, the ice cube is solid. It's the water when it is frozen. We call it as ice. It's cold and hard. So then liquid is the regular water. We drink it, we splash it, and we swim in it. Gas, this is called the steam. It's hot and it looks like a, a little cloud kind of a thing. It comes from boiling water. So how does the water change its form from solid to liquid? When you heat the ice, it melts. It turns into water. So solid is converted to liquid and this process is called melting. When water um, is heated up even more, it evaporates. It becomes a steam or a gas. 
For example, a steam comes out of a hot cup of tea. So this process where the liquid is converted to a gas is called evaporation. Can we all say evaporation? Evaporation. Good job. Just a fun fact. It can also go backwards. Okay. For example, the steam. When steam cools down, it becomes water. This is called condensation. Can we all say condensation? Very good. Once the water freezes, you put it in the freezer, then it becomes ice again. So this is called freezing. So sea water has superpowers, isn't it? See you all in the next video.